Pregame.com. Hey guys, welcome back. Pregame.tv. I'm Marco D'Angelo. I'm joined by Scott Spritzer. We're here every week. We're giving you guys picks on, you know, basketball seasons in full swing, conference tournament, NCAA tournament. But we're actually not going to be talking basketball in this video. But we're still going to end up maybe giving you a free pick. Believe it or not, Scott, I mean, everybody right now, the talk is, it's Wednesday that we're taping this. It's official. Peyton Manning has been released sure. from the Indianapolis Colts. And did you ever think we would be doing a video talking about Who's going to sign Peyton Manning? And you can bet on it. And uh, <laughs> yes, you can bet on it here in Las Vegas. Uh, our good buddy Chris Andrews at Cal Neva, uh, he gave us the odds. They've got it posted. You can make a bet. If you want to put down a $100 bill, if Arizona's your choice, you get back $250. They are the morning line favorite, is uh, we use a horse racing term there. <laughs> Miami Dolphins are also getting a lot of steam from the back of the barn. Uh, they're at plus 300. And you know what makes steam from the back of the barn, though, don't you? <laughs> That's kind of what I tend to think of when I think of Miami the last few years. Sorry, Dolphin fans. <laughs> it, it, they, a lot of people think that's the destination. Right. Um, I can see it, but yet, to me, Arizona's the place. If I'm Peyton Manning... Arizona's the place that I pick, and, and I'll give my reasons. But let's go to Miami because it seems like a lot of the so-called experts and gurus and the talk show hosts mm -hmm. that everybody uh, wants to listen to, they're all pointing to Miami, and they say, that, you know, this is a team that, you know, can make the step up. It's a warm-weather city. But, yeah, it's a warm-weather city, but they still have the, it's the AFC East, mm -hmm. and they've got to play. You start with, you've got to go through New England. Right. At some point, whether it be during the regular season, if you you got to play them early in the season, you got nice weather. But most likely, you're going to see them again in the playoffs at some point. And Tom Brady, I don't know if I want to be in that division. Um, you got to go to Buffalo in the winter time. That's not a you know. Mm -hmm. This is Peyton Manning, a guy that's played his whole career in a dome. Now he's sure. played plenty of games outdoors, but you know, as you get older. We saw it with Brett Favre, you mm -hmm. know, as he got, you know, and he was a great guy at Green Bay and sure. Lambeau. But I still remember that last game that he did play at Lambeau against the Giants, right. you know, the, as cold as that. He had, that was a guy that didn't look like he wanted to be on the field. I just think Miami, if Peyton wants to go somewhere where he can win a Super Bowl, I think Miami's too far away from being able to win a Super Bowl. That's and why that wouldn't be. They're in the wrong division. <laughs> they're in the wrong <laughs> division, dude. And, to be honest, I think I would want to be out of the AFC. Mm -hmm. I, I think the AFC has, you know, the hard-nosed defense teams. You got the Steelers. You got Baltimore. Sure. You, you've got to deal with Belichick in, you know, New England. Um, I'd be looking for, a, you know, go to the NFC. Mm -hmm. And to me, I think the most logical place is Arizona. Mm -hmm. You could stay indoors. Yep. You're playing the Western team, so you know your road games are going to be nice weather. Mm -hmm. Um, and it's a soft division. The 49ers won that division last year, but the 49ers, nobody saw them coming the way they did. And I think Arizona's built ready to, you know, let's face it, they were just a few years removed from a Super Bowl. Right. Um, what do you think? What would you do if you're Peyton Manning? All these teams that have been mentioned, I would say probably close to San Francisco's. I would say Arizona has the best coaching staff for one thing out of the teams that you just mentioned. Um, I love Wizen Hunt, and I love what he does with this team and the fact that he didn't lose this team last year when they could have fallen apart. Instead, they end up 8-8, eight and eight, and they right. just missed the playoffs. And again, as you mentioned, nobody saw what was happening with San Francisco where that was coming. They played a somewhat soft schedule this past regular season, and everything went right. Everything went right for the 49ers, the turnovers that they forced and were able to recover. You could knock footballs out of guys' hands on the run with them, but you still got to recover them. The ball was rolling the right way for them. Now, I'm a big Harbaugh fan, and I think they're going to continue to be a player in that division, but when you analyze which division this guy can go to and which team he can go to, I think the NFC West is probably his best chance to get back to a postseason. And not only do you have, and by the way, when Brett Favre had his last good year, it was in the Dome playing for the Minnesota Vikings mm -hmm. that second to last season. So he goes here, you play in a Dome when the weather is too hot, 
or rainy, and they can open it up if it's not a dome. But whether it's in a dome or not, you've also got one more thing to factor in when it comes to injuries. It's natural turf. They keep that turf outside, and it rolls in on these rollers into the stadium for the game. So he's playing on natural turf. He can play in a dome. He can play with a fantastic coaching staff. And Arizona, I think, is just a, Peyton, a healthy Peyton Manning away from making a big run, maybe winning the division themselves, and making a deep run in the postseason. Uh, Kansas City has been thrown out there. I don't think that's a good fit. We saw Montana towards the end of his career go into Kansas City and almost lead them to a Super Bowl appearance. Didn't quite get there in his first year there, uh, but I think that's a bad fit going there. And plus, they've already got a quarterback that they've put a lot of you know, work into when you talk about Castle. Uh, and money. <laughs> and money, yeah, yeah, that's true. The Jets, you know, they've been thrown around. Every time I turn on the radio, it seems like, or at least satellite radio, somebody's talking about, hey, let's bring him to New York, and you can play for the Jets. Well, I, I think Sanchez is not the greatest or most accurate quarterback in the world, maybe not the, st the strongest arm on some of his outs. He's definitely not in Peyton Manning's league, but now they've got to go out and get a receiver. I mean, Mark Sanchez played without receivers last year. Give the kid a break. So I think the best fit, and you're talking about running backs for Arizona that could get it done when you've got a quarterback under center who's not named Skelton or <laughs> Kevin Cobb, and you've got Larry Fitzgerald there still to lead the ways. Oh, man, I bet you Larry Fitzgerald right now, and I love this guy. My two favorite receivers both have played for the Arizona Cardinals. One still does. That's Larry Fitzgerald. My other favorite receiver is Anquan Bolden, mm -hmm. who went to Baltimore, pound for pound, the toughest player in the NFL as far as I'm uh, concerned, but I'm looking at Wisenhunt, Fitzgerald, the running back system they got. They have to shore up some defensive problems, but having a guy like Peyton Manning under center can work to create better defensive numbers because the offense is actually moving the ball consistently. Yeah. I love Larry Fitzgerald too, and I got to watch Larry Fitzgerald his whole college sure. career at Pitt. Uh, it was a season ticket holder in 11, and this guy's never really had a top-notch quarterback mm -hmm. throwing him the ball. The best quarterback he had was, you know, the brief time that Kurt Warner sure. was there. And uh, that's what got him to the Super Bowl, a real top-notch quarterback. Right. Yeah. And just put Peyton Manning there if he's healthy. Um, I agree with you. That's the way to go. And to New York for a second, mm -hmm. all the talk in New York. You know who wants him in New York? The media yeah. wants him. in all, all these talk show hosts that are spinning this to go into the Jets, mm -hmm. they just want to be able to talk about – Manning versus Manning. They, they want to have the two brothers sure. in the city of New York, and it would just be a media circus. And that's ratings. That's what be, you know. Exactly. So as soon as Lynn Sanity finally dies <laughs> down, they, they got that. You know, they're right. set. He's not going to. I would be absolutely shocked. Um, I think they've got the odds right. I think Arizona should be the favorite in this race uh, at plus 250. Just to give you some of the other numbers. But one team that is getting... A lot of talk to they're third in the in the pricing here but it's the Redskins mm -hmm. and Snyder because you know he likes to spend money sure. and he likes to have shiny things and you know what would be better than bring Peyton mm -hmm. you know there but you know that would give you an interesting media story too because now you'd have the Mannings in the same exactly. division so that would be good but really Washington I think their run is going to be at RG3. They, sure. They're looking long-term, and he's such an exciting player. Uh, if they can make the trade and move up to get him, um, I think that's what Washington's going to do. Uh, I wouldn't rule it out. Snyder, you know, he can throw some money out there. He's not, not a, scared to pull out the checkbook. Uh, but that's the third one. And after that, I mean, where to go? Some of the people are talking – Houston, the Texans, and I think that's silly. They, they got a quarterback. You know, <laughs> they, they, they got a Mike. There's no question. <laughs> if the, you know, and Houston went as far as they did with their quarterback injury. Right. If somehow, if if Peyton, if they could pull it off, that Peyton could sign there. I mean, they become. I would have to say favorite for the Super Bowl sure. because that team might have been the best team in the AFC right. last year if they had their number one quarterback. Or their number two quarterback. <laughs> I mean, it was like one injury after another, and I felt that they were going to probably represent, at least, well, at least get to the AFC Championship, even after Schaub got hurt because they were playing so well, but the injuries just really mounted on both sides of the line of scrimmage for that football team. But no, you're right. I think Arizona's the best fit. You're only talking about Cobb. You're talking about Skelton. So you're basically saying that he would come in to dethrone those two mediocre quarterbacks. Cobb might be you know, a talented guy, but he has yet to prove it. And he was banged up quite a bit last season. The other thing we got to make sure is when you're trying to place Manning, is, is he going to be healthy enough to play a whole season? We don't know that yet. 
And this presents a whole new uh, way to approach the preseason because it used to be go against Indianapolis because Manning is going to probably throw about as many passes as I am, you know, in most of those early preseason games. He's going to have to come in and fit right in right away. He's going to have to know the systems, get to know the players. And, of course, if no matter what team he goes to, they'll be doing that in camp but he's also going to do it on the field in preseason action, which means you're going to start seeing a lot more of Peyton Manning early on than we used to when he's with the Indianapolis well, we Colts. <laughs> we, there was, you, had the for, box. Yeah, you had to look for <laughs> Peyton Manning sightings the, in preseason. But you bring up a good point about you know, keeping him healthy and, you know, and he's coming sure. off this injury. That's another plus for Arizona. If I'm looking around the league and you, know, we, you talked about Ken Wisenhut and right. about how you – know, how you like the coaching staff. Well, there's another member on that coaching staff. And Ken Wisenhut is a Steeler guy. He sure. came from Pittsburgh. Is he really? Yeah. How'd you know that? <laughs> <laughs> well, there's an offensive line coach oh, yeah. on that team that took care of some pretty nice... Where was nice, he from? Yeah. He, I think he was from <laughs> Pittsburgh, too. And they had some pretty good offensive yeah. linemen and had some pretty good centers. Yeah. And, uh, you know, last time I looked, the offensive line is who protects you. Yeah. I think I would want to go to Russ Grimm uh, uh, for my protection. So, Peyton, if you're listening to us, <laughs> we're telling you, go to Arizona. Plus, you know what? That's only... A you know, five-hour drive. Well, from see, here. I'm thinking you can either drive. It's a, it's a hop, skip, and a jump, or it's a 60-minute flight. So yeah. I'm really hoping he comes to Arizona. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and uh, there you go. We think it's going to be Arizona. Who do you? If it's not Arizona, who do you? Who would you put for your second choice? Wow. Are, you, are you buying into I'm the so Miami? I'm so into hype? Arizona. I guess. I guess because of all the hype, Miami has to be. I think they're right as far as where they put the odds that he would go there. But I, I almost think the odds are too great about it. Arizona. I think it should be a little bit shorter that he goes to Arizona. I just think it's a great fit for all those reasons you mentioned. And I didn't even bring up Russ Grimm, but I think having that, and by the way, if I'm yelling, I'm sorry. But, <laughs> but I think Russ Grimm is, can do a fantastic job. And like I said, if this team gets any kind of, you know, if, if, if they're a threat to pass the ball at any time during the game, if you've got Peyton Manning under center, and he's doing one of these, and he's audibleizing mm -hmm. and calling the plays, that all of a sudden makes those two talented running backs that play for Arizona even better than they have been. So I just think if he's healthy, and his neck isn't bothering him, he can still make the throws, boy, he's just going to make everybody around him on that offense better, and in turn, it makes the defense better because the defense isn't so exposed without the offense scoring as they were this year. Some of those catches that Larry Fitzgerald <laughs> makes when the ball's overthrown, oh. underthrown. He might not have a good season. He might be shocked at where the ball <laughs> is. It's in his hands <laughs> on the numbers. <laughs> oh, there it is. You've got it. And, we, again, we want to thank Chris Andrews from Cal Neva. Now, if you guys are around town, Vegas, and you're wondering where Cal Neva locations are, the most notable Cal Neva location in Las Vegas, and being a poker guy, that's a lot of history for me, <laughs> it is Binion's Horseshoe downtown. You can check that out, but they've got locations all around town. Check it out. Make a bet. My Money, Arizona. We'll see what happens. He's Scott Spritzer. I'm Marco D'Angelo. I hope you enjoyed us. Watch all of our videos at pregame.tv. Doesn't matter if we're picking games or we're picking where guys are going to go. Sometimes you'll find a video. I'll tell you where to go eat at, too. So you never know what you're going to find at pregame.tv. Wait, there he goes with food. RJ's not even here to do it. You're already bringing up food. All right. All right. Thanks for watching, guys.